What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Harley Combustible Reaction. We're jumping into the next one from the Dodo, probably the home of some of the most wholesome and like happy content of all time definitely if you haven't done so already get over and show them some love the link is right there inside of the description so what's coming at us from miss inga much much love my dear baby koala gets ready to go home returning animals to the wild is always something beautiful to see so let's jump in let's check it out together let's see what we got oh ow, ow, ow. Ow, you got claws buddy i'm not a tree Morton, that's a cute ass Morton name. Morton came to us late one evening. He was a little bit the size of a small rat, um, and we can estimate his age to have been about five months old. He was very traumatized. Uh, his weight was 340 grams. Their mothers feed them for up to a year at the size we, we found him. So immediately, it was kept in a little pouch to simulate the mother's pouch as best we could. Hey, I love people that are out there helping animals Once now. Once he was old enough and start becoming a little bit adventurous from his pouch, and we set up an outside gym for him to explore around. Go in the tree. Go in the tree. Let's do some action from you now. That's your gym. They think you're mom. So there's quite a bond formed and a, a, a lot of trust. That's so cool. You don't really get to see koalas move around like this. Normally when I see a koala, they're asleep. Wow. He can hustle. Ah, you're just having fun, aren't you? Go down and go and play. Go find a tree. Come on. Here's a tree. There you go, get on that tree. Good boy. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> You've got to be dehumanized in a few weeks. Ow! That was a fail. You gotta be dehumanized. Oh. He was walking at 5am this morning and somebody was wanting to get out. But luckily he didn't want mommy so much, he wanted to get out and explore. Good. But as he got older and he was ready to be dehumanised, Morton has to start learning to be a koala that's um, quite wary of people. He's not to see me at all, so it's a big sharp break between the both of us. Hey, he's a lot bigger in this picture. She been with him for a while, it looks like. And seriously, like, how heartbreaking would it be to say goodbye, even though you know that you're getting ready to return them to the wild and that it's necessary to make them not so, like, into humans. They need to be a little bit more on the wild side. That makes complete sense to me. He can't be jumping down out of a tree and running to things that, he, that could potentially kill him in the wild. Like, this is very... Cool to hear, but also heartbreaking to say goodbye to a friend for sure. So it's a big sharp break between the both of us. We were lucky enough to be able to introduce him with another Joey that was almost ready to be released. This allowed Morton to start learning from the other koala how to be a koala. Because uh, most of his life... I have no three, idea a koala could jump from tree to tree. ...process for two to three months until we felt confident that he wasn't interested in people anymore. To be able to see him thrive and then also be released being a proper koala is, is just sheer joy. A absolutely beautiful video. 
I definitely enjoyed seeing people help out any kind of animals. You already know what's up, Dub. We've already smashed the like button. Make sure that you do the same. Go over and show the dodo some love. If you're looking for that wholesome kind of happy, even sometimes, even if it makes you choked up, that kind of video, definitely get over and show them some love. Little videos about life, I guess. Like real stuff. Very, very light, heartwarming things. Check out the other video over here. Tell the next one I'm highly combustible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. I love you to the moon and back. Peace.